Hi, it's so good to speak with you through the screens. It's the day five of the 21 days of prayer and fasting, and I'm sure you're having a, an amazing time with God, and, and so am I. I'm really seeking the Lord, and, and uh, God is really speaking to me a lot of things, and, and it's been a great, great 21 day journey uh, we have started, and I'm so glad. Um, to to be with you on this journey, and I'm praying and hoping that you are uh, you have enough time to to watch the videos and be encouraged and spend time in the Word. Speaking about the Word, the prayer focus for today is being in the Word. We are focusing on being the church on the move. When God moves, we move as a church. That's our primary focus for the month of February and uh, the, the prayer focus for today in the theme of fixing our eyes on Jesus from Hebrews 12 2, we are focusing on being in the Word of God. Um, many times we look at the Word of God as just a print, uh, book of principles and doctrines and uh, some good stories and, and all of that. Um, all that may be true to some extent. Yes, of course, we get good stories and some great doctrines out of it. But one of the teachers in the ministry school taught us, many people stop short of a divine encounter with God because they're satisfied with a good theology. Theology is great. It is awesome. But without God, it is not going to do what it is supposed to do. Jesus is the great theology. You know, Jesus is the word of God. I read here in John chapter one, verse one, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And in verse 14, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. I just want to come to you this morning to encourage, can we all see the Word of God, not just as books of book of principles or a bunch of doctrines, but see the Word of God as a person, the person of Christ. You know, Christ is the Word, the, the, the full manifestation of the character and the nature of God was found bodily in Christ Jesus. It's, we read that in the, in the epistles. And that person of Christ, if he was put in book form, that is the Bible that we hold. Um, Pastor Bill Johnson, I, I dearly love, he taught us in one of the classes and he modeled, uh, modeled it to us and asks us to repeat after. When he does this, he holds his Bible close to his chest and tells us, please repeat after me. I love my Bible. And I love that gesture because <clears throat> it shows not only reverence, but also the amazing love that we have for the Word of God. I'm not saying we all have to do that. If not, we don't love. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, in these days of prayer, being in the presence of God, being in the Word of God, not just reading for the sake of gaining some knowledge or understanding some doctrines or in times and all of that, but I'm reading the Word of God to find the person of Christ. I'm reading the Word of God to, to know who Jesus is. Genesis, the first book, Jesus is the Alpha. And, the you know, the last book of the Bible is not called Revelation. It's called the Revelation of Jesus Christ. Right from the beginning to the end, we read the Word find Jesus, to be with Jesus. It is all about Jesus. Every story, everything that is written in the Old Testament and the New 
it points to the person of Christ. We read the word of God to be intimate with the person of Christ. Intimacy with God is the most important thing that we would ever need and want in our life if we know Jesus closely. And I want to encourage you um, as we as we read in Hebrews 12 too, fixing our eyes on Jesus. How do we fix our eyes on Jesus? If we don't know the Word of God, Jesus being the Word of God, we, as we spend time with Him, the Word of God has power to transform our mind. Romans 12, 2. Be not confirmed to the world, but be renewed. How do we get renewed? By allowing the Spirit of God, by allowing the Word of God, to work in our minds is how we can renew our minds. That is the only way we can renew our minds is by the power of the Spirit and the Word of God. And and I just want to. This is not a this is not a co- condemnation uh, talk, but I, I I want all of us to just reflect on what is our relationship with the Bible. What is our relationship with our reading of the Bible? Do we read it to gain knowledge? Do we read it to get, to, to get some cool revelation and impress people? Do we read it so that we can tick the box of reading three chapters a day or whatever you read? Or do we read it to really relate with Him? To find Him in the secret place? To be with Him in the closet? Because as we read He becomes real through the scriptures, through the words, and through our lives. I just want to encourage you in these days of prayer, please, please, take your Bible and relate with Him, with the words. If if Jesus comes to your house today, how would you treat Him? Would you let Him sit in a corner of the house and let him collect dust? Or would you give him the prominent place in your house and treat him like the King of Kings that he is? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for the person of Christ, the Son of the living God, who has been reflected amazingly through these words and thank you for your word that was made flesh and you made the choice of dwelling amongst us and thank you for giving us an opportunity to read and to have your words in our possession and help us to make these words so real to our hearts As your word became flesh, let our flesh become your word. Thank you for doing this work in us, the work of transformation of mind. I, I pray that the lives will be transformed as we read these words. I pray that the situations will be transformed as we read your word. I pray that everything that Uh, that is holding us back will release us and we will move forward as a church as we live and be in your word. Help us not to be satisfied with some doctrines, but help us to encounter the person of Christ through these words. I thank you, God. I bless you every single person who is listening and I thank you for them. Thank you for blessing them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, I want to encourage you again. It is amazing to be with him. Let us do this. In Jesus' name, bless you.